Hello, I hate to bring it up, but Christmas is approaching quickly. So I've got some ideas for some handmade gifts. This year I'm focusing on gardeners or people you might think would like to get into gardening. I had a go a few years ago growing things from seed, my lettuces, some tomatoes. I really enjoyed it and want to get back into it. So I was growing them in plastic seed trays, but there was three things I didn't like about them. First, they're really ugly. The second is they're hard to move, they're quite fragile and actually that brings us on to the third point. They're plastic and they are reusable but because they're so flimsy they get damaged, split and then you have to throw them away. So I'm thinking I can make some wooden trays for these to go into, make them look better, make them more secure and just work better. I'm going to use some pallet wood to make it because it's cheap or free. I've got some slats already broken up, but unfortunately that is not the end of the job. They've got some nails in and the sides aren't straight. So first job is to get the rest of the nails removed. I've got a pile of these denailed, but unfortunately they're still not usable because these are some of the wonkiest pallet slats I have ever had. Normally I'll try and flatten one edge with a hand plane and then rip it square on the table saw, but because it's so far out, I think I'll try something different and use the track saw. got one nice straight edge now so I need to rip the other one square to it or parallel to it but there's no point in just doing that I might as well get it to the height I want so I will get one of these put on and move the fence over because that is how high I need these to be and then I can get the second edge ripped to that bits for the side of these trays cut to the right height now I need to cut them to the length so I think I'm going to do a tray that holds two of these because they're quite small so I'm going to get the mitre gauge set up and cut four bits for each one Now these bits just need attaching together, so as it's some pallet wood and it's kind of a, a rustic garden project, I'm just going to get some glue on and then just nail everything together. Right, I've got a couple of these trays done. Now I need a base for it. So I've got some more of the pallet wood that I ripped down for these, but I've only got a little bit and it's a bit chunky. So I think I'm gonna rip it in half to maximize what I have here.
and get these glued and nailed on. I'm going to go for three slats per one. So two of the slats are just going to line up with the sides and then I'll just get the other one roughly in the center. Right, two crates done. Now I'm just gonna give them a quick sand. I haven't got these perfectly smooth because I want them rustic, but where I've cut the wood and sanded it, it's all a bit different colors and I don't like that. So I am gonna stain it and I've got some medium oak stain. So I'm just gonna get this put on. I need these to dry before I finish them. Luckily, it's a lovely sunny day, so I'm gonna get these outside. They can dry out there, and we're going with the next project. For the next project, I wanna build a garden truck. Something you can carry around, do your weeding, put your sacketeers and fork and little bits in. Very useful to have, but I want the size of it to be wider or taller than a bit of pallet wood. So first, I'm gonna get a few bits glued together. So before I can get on with them, I think I've gotta wait for this to all dry. Now, luckily, I'm really organized and here's one I prepared earlier. So the first job is to get this cut in half roughly and the ends trimmed nice and square so that I can get two sides of the truck out of it. Got the two sides, now trucks tend to have a nice curve to them. So what I'm gonna do is curve a ruler using three nails put into this and then I can draw around it. I've only drawn the shape out on one because I'm gonna get it cut out on the bandsaw and then I can use the first one as a template, draw around for the second one and then get that cut. Got the two sides done. I've sanded them so they're now the same shape. Now I need slats that are gonna link these two together. Um, I want them to be thin again, so I'm gonna to get to the back to the table saw and rip some bits down to go in here. I 
got a pile of slats and I'm going to get them glued and screwed into place. But first, I'm going to drill a pilot hole because they're quite thin and I don't want to split them. Now, I can get these all screwed into place with also a little dab of glue onto each one to help hold them there. So, I really enjoy coming up with the ideas for projects and for the videos I make. But, sometimes I need a little bit of extra inspiration. And that brings us to today's sponsor of the video, Readly. So I've been using Readly for quite a few months now. And I read a lot of the things you probably imagine I would. Woodworking and making magazines. And there is a lot of them to choose from. Not only is the ones that you've heard of, but there's ones from other countries as well. Woodworking really isn't very regional, so... Uh, it works from wherever. So I get to read a lot of titles that I've never seen before. And that's great. And they've also got all the back issues of them. So I'm never gonna run out of material or sources of inspiration. I don't just enjoy the woodworking magazines though. I've got quite a lot of other hobbies. One of which is photography. So I enjoy those magazines, but I enjoy the gear associated with photography as well. So I spent a lot of time reading all the reviews. Now, I used to be a chef, so I love having a good look through the food magazines, coming up with ideas of what I'm gonna cook that week. But this week, I've been looking through for inspiration. I knew I wanted to do some gifts for gardeners or plant lovers or just anyone you think they would get into gardening, but I didn't know what to make. So I had a look through some gardening publications. You can bookmark articles. So that is what I've done. I found some things I'm interested in and bookmarked them. In Kitchen Garden Magazine, they had lots of articles about sowing seeds. As I say, I've tried it before, enjoyed it, and just found the trays a bit frustrating to use. So those articles inspired me to have a go at making some wooden trays to go round them. Then I'd look for garden answers. They had a few trunks in there. Now I've made similar things to this before, but never with the round base. So I wanted to give that a go, and I think these will make great gifts for gardeners, but actually you could adapt the, adopt the design and use them for anything. They're just really neat storage things. As I didn't really know what I was going to make, apart from it being garden related, having such a large resource to look through is fantastic. And of course, new content is being added all the time. So I don't think I'm ever going to run out of sources of inspiration. Now, another feature of Readly that's really useful is you can download magazines to read offline. I think that'd be great if you're commuting to work. Myself, I've got about a 10 second commute from the back door. So I don't have much time to read, but while I'm in here, my reception on the phone or the tablet is not great. So being able to download articles so I can read them out here without having to worry about the signal is fantastic. If you'd like to try Readly free for two months, cancel any time, then there's a link down below under this video to click on. So, thank you for really to sponsor this video. Now, I've just got a few more slats to go. So you might have noticed, I'm winding these in by hand now. So what I've been doing is getting them in three quarters of the way with the drill and then just finishing them off by hand because I split one. And this way, you just got a little bit more control. This thing now needs a handle, and what I've got is a bit of pallet wood that's already the right width, and it's slightly chunkier than the others, so I'm gonna get a couple of bits cut down to go either side of it. I've 
I've got another one of the little slats that I can put down. Then I'm going to get this put on the slat so it just lifts it off the base a little. Now I've worked out where the center point is. I've got my square to get it on straight. Now I'm just going to get some glue and get these screws done up. There, I have the two uprights. Now the scrap should fit in between here. So I'm just going to get this cut down. Oh yeah, that fits in there well, but it isn't that comfortable in the hand because of the square edges. So I'm just going to take the block plane and just round them over a little. That feels much nicer taking those edges off. So I'm just going to get this put into place and then I'm going to drill some pilot holes because I don't want to split it then I can get some screws in. Right, that's it done. I think I will put some added protection on. I've got some tongue oil so I'm just going to give it some coats of that. Tongue oil is a nice natural finish, so in case any fruit and vegetables go in here, it'll be food safe. And also, I find it works quite well outside. Now I'm going to stick this in the sun and leave it to dry, and get the other ones in to finish. The finish is dry on these now, and I prefer the look. They look a bit more old with the stain on. But I want to be able to pick them up easier. So what I have are some of these little cup handles. So I'm going to get one of these screwed on to either end. That's these all done. So I can get a tray in there. A bit for the seeds and a lid. Oh, and that one's all made up. So the trays I got even came with some little tabs and some tools to use. I'll put a link to these trays down below, also to these little cup handles if you want to check them out. So I think these will make great gifts, especially if you buy a few packets of seeds to go in there as well. You could even buy a bag of compost and then look at the disappointment on people's face when they unwrap the massive present to find out it's just soil. Probably don't do that. Anyway, yeah, I think these are great and they solve the three problems I had with these. So I'm definitely gonna grow some things this year. So the other thing is the garden truck. This is gonna be a present for my mum, I think. She loves gardening and has a lovely garden. So this is gonna help with the weeding. She won't know it's coming because uh, she doesn't watch my videos. Apparently, they're just too boring. Anyway, I don't know why I even make her things. So, I think two nice handmade things for gardeners or people that you think will enjoy getting into gardening. I hope this has inspired some of you to make some things for people this year. So, thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.